Hello, my name is Lauren Izo, and we are on record. Israel's Ministry of Defense awarded Elbit Systems a $38 million follow-on contract to operate, maintain, and service the T-6 trainer fleet of the Israeli Air Force. The T-6 fleet is used by the IAF for cadet test flights during its Flight Academy course. Elbit Systems also provides logistic services and training technologies to three other fleets of the IAF Flight Academy, the M346 trainer jet fleet, the Grob G120A trainer jet fleet, and the Bell 206 helicopter fleet. More than 1,000 additional E-Link software-defined radio systems will be supplied to the Swedish Army by Elbit Systems. The new delivery expands the involvement of the company in Sweden's tactical radio upgrade program and includes both the handheld and vehicular configurations. Elbit Systems has been the supplier of the SDR network system to the Swedish Army since 2018. The Seagull has been in the international spotlight recently. The United Kingdom conducted a series of trials with the Elbit Systems USV. The Defense Science and Technology Laboratory of the UK's Ministry of Defense was exploring autonomous systems capable of anti-submarine warfare operations. An undisclosed Western customer has received an underwater system for communication with submarines. It was developed by Geospectrum Technologies, an Elbit Systems subsidiary, and previously supplied to the Canadian government as well. The Long Range Acoustic Messaging System, or LRAM, enables ships offshore or at a command station to communicate with submarines without requiring them to rise up to a periscopic depth. Elbit Systems is joining forces with the robotics company RoboTeam to introduce a networked military unmanned ground vehicle called Torch X RAS Robotics and Autonomous System. The collaboration transforms the operational ProBot UGV into a networked fighting asset, able to navigate through rough terrain while carrying payloads and supplies and evacuating casualties. The vehicle is also able to perform intelligence gathering missions and operate as a remote weapon system. Sens Materials, a startup of Elbit Systems' Deep Tech Incubator, has landed a $1.5 million investment. They develop nanotechnology that significantly improves performance of batteries with the potential to increase capacity, cutting charging times for electric vehicles, drones, and energy storage plants. And that's all for today. I'm Lauren Izo. Thanks for watching.